Good Wednesday morning, everybody, live and direct from Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with a quick look at what's going on with the weather for the rest of the week, which includes, again, the possibility of some stronger thunderstorms out there. And as we go into the end of the week and the weekend, if you have any outdoor plans, it looks like you're going to have to plan ahead for the potential for more problems with anything involving stronger weather out there. It doesn't look like a washout yet, but again, that's something we're going to be watching with a lot of interest. Questions, concerns, ideas, comments, anything like that down here, Kind of hard to see at the bottom portion of the screen, but the email address, i got to get a blue bar behind here, austin.onic at wreg.com. If you'd like to follow along with what's going on with the weather, please let me know. Grounds crew at the Pink Palace out and about getting things spiffied up for all the visitors coming in for later on today. And a little bit on the breezy side, may notice the hair ruffling by just a little bit as the winds continue out of the south this morning, a little bit on the breezy side. Forecast information, if you can't stick around for the entire netcast, forecast details here and social media information here, here, and over there. So if you can't find it by now, then you're in big trouble. That is, again, going to be the best possibility we see of anything involving uh, major amounts of problems this morning. The green on the map that you see here up and down the Mississippi Valley and across portions of Missouri and Arkansas and back into parts of Kentucky, those are flood warnings that are in effect, not flash flood warnings for active storm systems, but this is where we see, again, the possibility of showers and thunderstorms that have already dropped their rainfall and that water is now flowing away. The Mississippi River has crested. We'll take a look at the levels coming up in just a little bit. More importantly, the counties you see shaded in brown, that's where we have wind advisories in effect. These winds that you can see blowing through here are going to get a lot stronger for later on today. So we will continue to see some winds gusting between about uh, 20 to 30 miles per hour. As you can see scrolling across the screen uh, right now, again, that's wind advisory territory, and that's why the National Weather Service has issued all these advisories in effect at this time. Taking a look around the area back to the west of us, our latest storm system is getting organized over parts of the Oklahoma Panhandle, southwestern Kansas. Most of that energy is going to be swinging north of us and taking the chances of stronger weather with it, but we still see the possibility of some stronger weather heading our direction. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little while. The storm system's energy is stacking up just to our west, and that energy right there, all those purples and oranges and reds that you see did a very good job of stirring up some powerful thunderstorms last night. These storms were rotating as they lifted up through the atmosphere and that was enough to create some very powerful tornadoes and a lot of hail, baseball sized hail or so and that's where we are looking at some very heavy conditions out there and hopefully no reports of any loss of life but we will continue to monitor that and bring you more at wrg.com slash weather and at our main page, wrhe.com, so stay tuned for more information on that. Let's take a look and see what's going on around the rest of the area. Again, the National Weather Service is looking at the possibility of a few strong to severe thunderstorms today through Saturday, mainly along and north of I-40. That storm system going north of us, that'll be taking most of the energy on with it, but we still see that potential of activity dropping into parts of the Mid-South. That's the severe that you see there. In the blue shaded category, again, a wind advisory in effect, so it could be a little choppy out there. Winds out of the south pushing against east or west moving vehicles. That could create a little bit of some chop effect out there, so please remember to take it easy on there. No major earthquakes to report in the last 24 hours. We did manage to pick up one just north of the Dyersburg area, and that was very early this morning at about a quarter to three. Uh, 1.6 reported just north of Dyersburg, almost right under the Mississippi River, just like the one we saw yesterday into around the area of 520 in the morning. 3.3 uh, reported just under the Mississippi River, and again, if you felt that one or the other large earthquake that happened very early Sunday morning, just before 8 o'clock, 3.0, please let the United States Geological Survey and the Center for Earthquake Research and Information know more about what's going on there. Air quality in the Mid-South area is at a yellow or at a, again, a moderate level at this time. According to the Tennessee Department of Environment and Conservation and the Environmental Protection Agency, this is where we're seeing, again, the pollutants stack up by just a little bit. More particle pollution, dust, and pollutants more than anything else. Ozone gas at this time is at a 43 or a good green quality and expected to be there at that area tomorrow. But air quality, again, not as good as it could be. We're hoping for this next storm system to kind of sweep some of this stuff on out of here. Not that we have that much to begin with anyway. We do have, again, a lot of clouds out across portions of the Mid-South area, a lot of that being swept up ahead of that front. 
And that's going to be, again, what we see throughout the rest of the day. Plenty of sunshine, so get ready for a very warm day out there. If you want to see what's going on around the Mid-South area with our tower cam and from areas around the rest of the Mid-South where those clouds are moving on through, go ahead and check us out at WREG.com slash webcams. Downtown Memphis on the Mississippi River, which is, again, finally starting to descend. Our cotton exchange camera looking at the Barbecue Fest tents up and ready to go as we get into around the area for Barbecue Fest. Should be, again, mainly good weather, but more chances of showers and thunderstorms coming our way, which again could be a bit of a problem into the next couple of days. Mississippi River is at a moderate flood level down toward the Tunica River Park, but it also has started to crest, so good news on that. In the Mississippi River area back toward Memphis, we have hit our crest of just about 36 feet, which again is not even going to crack the top 10 when it comes to the major amounts of flooding that have happened in this area in modern times. So we will see again the river finally heading downstream and downstage by just a little bit stair-stepping on downwards. But here's the thing. It's going to be again at least until next Friday before the river goes below what's called action stage, that yellow line that you see there. That's where we see again when the warnings on the river will finally come to an end. So it's going to take a little while for that to actually occur. Now, if you'd like to see more about what goes on here at these locations and at any of these locations for that matter, whether it comes to creeks, streams, rivers, reservoirs, things like that, National Weather Service and the Advanced Hydrologic Prediction Service have tons of information at water.weather.gov. So you can see tons of details there. Let's take a look and see what's going on with radar. Not that much even close to the Mid-South. Some dwindling showers back between Little Rock and Fort Smith moving their way toward us. The really powerful stuff from last night has gone back to the north of Kansas, Nebraska, and Missouri, but more possible problems could be seen later on today. Short-range forecast does show, again, uh, more showers and thunderstorms dropping into the Mid-South tonight and into early tomorrow morning. So if you've got the convertible out there, probably going to need to put the top up and keep it up over the next few days. And unfortunately, that goes right on in through Thursday night and into Friday morning as that storm system slowly works its way out into the Plain States. As it does, we'll see more chances of showers and thunderstorms coming our way. But it looks like that storm system is slowing down and stretching out. High pressure doing a good job of kind of trying to stretch it out by just a little bit and not giving it any real room to move. So we're going to be seeing that stick around just west of us for the next couple of days, which means our chances for rainfall are going to go pretty well right into the rest of the afternoon and evening through the weekend. High temperatures for today, again, back into the mid to upper 80s. Should be seeing temperatures again for lows tonight going back into the mid to upper 60s or so across much of the area. So not exactly what you would call cool. More chances for rainfall. The green area, that's where we see the rain starting to move our way and heading our direction into the course of the rest of the evening, which means chances for rainfall will be with us basically throughout the entire day tomorrow and right on into the afternoon. So taking the kids to school, picking them up again, you're going to have that to worry about. High temperatures tomorrow, again, it's going to be a warm and sultry day with temperatures back in the mid to upper 80s for Thursday. Low temperatures Thursday night in the mid to upper 60s to right around the lower 70s. More showers and thunderstorms possible for Thursday night. And then for Friday, temperatures remain very much on the mild side as those chances of showers and thunderstorms greatest up around northeast Arkansas, northwest Tennessee, and then back into around the rest of the area isolated activity but that's really going to be about it rest of the forecast for friday night temperatures for lows back in the upper 60s and those chances of rain showers dwindle a little bit but they will still be possible out there and then as we get into Saturday, high temperatures remain very much on the warm side with numbers back into the mid to upper 80s. And those chances of showers and thunderstorms across portions of the area will be greatest in northeast Arkansas, back into northwest Tennessee. But most of everybody is going to pick up more chances of showers and thunderstorms into parts of the Mid-South. So please keep that in mind as we see that going on right on into Saturday night. More chances of showers and thunderstorms. It looks like a 50 to 60 percent chance at least. Low temperatures Saturday night back in the mid to upper 60s and for Sunday high temperatures a little cooler thanks to all the clouds and the rainfall blocking out the sunshine out there mid to upper 70s for highs but good chances of rainfall throughout the weekend so outdoor plans for this weekend including graduations may want to think about moving those indoors again 
if at all possible. Coming up on vacation season, definitely want to start checking out what's going on with the tropics. The National Hurricane Center not showing anything major kicking up at this time, but now is the time to start getting used to checking in with this forecast so you know a little bit more about what's going on. You can find out more by going to weather.gov and clicking on the National Hurricane Center from there and keeping track of this website. We are about two weeks away from the official start of hurricane season, so it's almost upon us again, and definitely want to think about keeping an eye on what goes on there. One quick check for right now to see what's going on where it comes to anything involving severe weather. It looks like right now we just have a general risk of thunderstorms taking place for most of the Mid-South area, although that marginal threat sits right back to our west around Little Rock, Fort Smith, Mena in Arkansas, and all the way back up into Missouri. And then the really heavy stuff is up into portions of the Midwestern areas of the country, Iowa, Nebraska, uh, back into around Wisconsin and Illinois. That appears to be uh, the major threat at this point in time for today. Now tomorrow the threat gets even more intense back to the west of us. It does not appear to be a threat for the Mid-South except for a marginal threat category that you see in the dark shaded green area right back over uh, the Mid-South. The really heavy stuff in the Plain States, that's where the main energy of that storm system is going to be coming on through and should be again staying out that way so hopefully it sticks around that direction. But we still have a marginal threat of severe weather, mainly I-40 and back to the north. So that's something that needs to be watched very carefully as we go into the course of the next couple of days. We'll try to take a look and see what's going on with a little bit more in the way of astronomy coming up later on tonight with our exclusive astronomy blog called Skyblog 3. Unfortunately, with more clouds starting to make their way in, as you can see over my shoulder over here, we do have, again, the possibility of more clouds, and that means we're not going to be able to see too much of anything. But there are things you can do when it comes to astronomy, even when it's cloudy or rainy outside, and we'll bring you some of those ideas coming up later on tonight on our astronomy blog, so stay tuned for more there. Once again, remember a wind advisory. The county shaded in brown under a wind advisory at this time through the day, and that does include the Memphis metro area, so be prepared for some chop on the roadways, and definitely want to stay tuned to news Channel 3 for more coming up. Todd Demers has more in your forecast on Live at 9 and News Channel 3 at noon. I'll have more on the internet and Tim and Jim will have more coming up later on tonight on News Channel 3 starting at 1st at 4. Live and direct from out and about in the Mid-South area in Memphis, Tennessee. Thanks for joining me. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with our latest update of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Thanks for joining us and stay tuned to News Channel 3 on air and online.